Ah, making a video. Outdoors again. Yeah, it's still, still kind of cruddy. So it's the first time me walkie. <laughs> Deer. Ice. Damn. Um, there you go. April. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so it should be an adventure. Anyway, so I guess I thought I would, you know, just uh, talk some more about things relevant to understanding uh, this, you know, the nature of our existence is uh, this reflex word. I really like this reflex word. I mean, I don't like it. It's not a pleasant <laughs> thing to contemplate that I'm just a bunch of... Uh, mechanical springs, billions of years in the making of these little ways of responding. But uh, that's sort of all we are. We're just, um, you know, um, a bunch of uh, uh, reactions, and some of them are, in a sense, delayed reactions. I mean, I've said this before in videos. I think it's, I think it's a kind of a fundamental thing to recognize. <laughs> about how we function, you know, is that, uh, you know, stuff that happened to me 15 years ago has been rolling around inside my head in, in loops called memories, and at any moment now, there could be a sufficient trigger, a connection of circumstances that will engage that memory and pop it right to the surface. And uh, the reaction of my body to an event 15 years ago will happen today. Uh, you know, that there'll be a... It's just a bunch of uh, stored momentum, in a sense. Uh, and that's sort of how you can see your um, experiences in life as a, a kind of charging of your system um, with capacity. Uh, you know, we call that intelligence now, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's, uh, it's just kind of, an, it's kind of a way of, of uh, combining and, and uh, mixing uh, action-reaction over a period of time uh, into something new, something different, um, something it wouldn't have been if it happened immediately. Uh, and, you know, that's sort of interesting. There's still snow in the woods. Um, you know, patches of it. Uh, it's good the ground's still a little hard, so it's not too mushy. <laughs> so that's good. I guess those are horses. Uh, <laughs> you, know, so, you know, you're always looking for bears. You know, once they say the word bear, and you're just like, oh, man, there's bears. You say, you know, I really don't want to, I really don't want to just, you know, walk into a bear while I'm making a video and say, oh, fuck, I got this bear. Snow. Anyway, oh, balance issue. Um, more snow. <laughs> it's still lingering. Still clinging to its existence. But not on purpose, buddy. It's not trying to exist. <laughs> yeah, no. Snow's not trying. It's not worried about it. Uh, it's not worried and scared. And, uh, panicking. That's what we do inside this magic box called brain. You know, the, where this uh, mechanism... Uh, generates, you know, this illusion, this picture of reality. It's, it's sort of a matrix, I guess you could say. Our brain creates a matrix, a, a synthetic world of um, interpretation. You know, my brain's interpreting the temperature, okay, and it's sensing it as you know, crisp and a little bit painful even. Um, and it's sensing the light. It's, some of it's too bright. So one of my eyes is flickering a little. And uh, 
you know, it's uh, getting the, the view uh, and doing the routine, the, the programs running. Uh, I'm not thinking about where I'm going. I'm not thinking about doing it. My brain is just running the, oh yeah, we've done this walk a million times. And so it's just doing the walk it's done a million times. It has a has a CD, has a reflex on a CD, <laughs> so to speak, metaphorically. And it's just running the this comes next, then you step on that, and then you do this, and it's all pretty, uh, yeah, we kind of know how to do this so we don't trip uh, and fall down. Most of the time we don't. We actually do occasionally trip and fall down, but that's just a, just a thing we do. So there's probably no crossing. Oh man, somebody did fix some of it. Hooray, <laughs> all right. Yay for good citizens. Damn, I love them. I hope it wasn't that poor old guy. He's gonna kill himself. I mean, it's an old guy. Really old. <laughs> I mean, it's really old. Yeah, it is him, I bet. Because that's a new block. So he did show up and do this. I mean, look at the work he does. I mean, he pours these things. But I mean, he had to go way down there and drag these things back up here. I tell you. <laughs> I mean, man. I mean, he put all these big steel spikes in. I mean, the town might have done it. But it's usually an old guy. Well, there are big tracks here. Okay, maybe they did. the town did it. That's good. Because, you know, I didn't want that old guy doing that. It's too much. Anyway. I mean, it's nice to know one way or the other, though. You know, I mean, it's just a little irritating, things like that. You know, all these little unsung hero types that you, you know, we really should, you know, it's just too bad we don't have a parade for, you know, good citizen number 78, you know, who just never gets any credit for, you know, being a good citizen. Um, so anyway, that's just so excellent. I mean, I was all ready to have to take my boots off and go through the cold water and all that shit. Whew. Win for me. Um, so, thank you, good citizens, our town people guys, our government. <laughs> you know, yeah, thank you, Mr. Government, uh, for providing a service. I mean, frankly, uh, <laughs> you, know, you don't do enough of the services I like versus the services I don't like, but whatever. Anyway, where was I? Reflexes. So, even the, my political commentary has become reflexive. You know, because I've been over it seven million times in my brain. Uh, dog piss. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I recognize it. You know, and it, my, my brain has auto automatic responses. I mean, it automatically, you know, as soon as somebody starts with the rhetoric, it's already, you know, pigeonhole. I'm looking for the pigeonhole to shove the, the crap in and just say, oh, these are just rationalizations for greed, just rationalizations for personal ambition, just rationalizations for personal perception of entitlement. Uh, you know, they just fall right into those slots in my brain. And, uh, you know, not much thinking required. Uh, so, you know, that's sort of what we are uh, in terms of the mechanics of brain. And then uh, the game we're playing, it's just so, you know, in a way, this is another thing that's become almost reflexive. It's, it's like my brain is almost tedious, <laughs> you know, of having to walk through this basic notion that if you look at what we're doing with our lives, how we're living them, you know, we're still so owned by the biological mechanism, you know, uh, the, the sex ego thing being big for most men, uh, the utility nurture thing being big for most women, um, 
and then we all do the yummy yummy food thing and uh, there ain't much else happening uh, you're all just feeding feeding literally feeding on desire itself you know letting you know desiring desire <laughs> you know ironically seeing value in this consumption and uh, it really is stupid Ugh, dogs <sighs> sorry but I mean you know when people had dogs and they were just supposed to be dogs you know they were just dogs they weren't vicious attack animals <laughs> you know, I'm so sick of it the conversion you know but whatever people are and they're not even you know they're ugly dogs I mean, you know, fuck <laughs> you know it's just I don't get people at all <sighs> that's why I make these videos apparently it's because uh, I'm uh, attempting to argue through this profound uh, deep cavern of distance you know between me and uh, the average brain and the common human manifestation hey pup hi it's probably gonna bite that kid's face off one of these days you know just, just don't see the point having a kid and an attack dog. <laughs> it's like having a, a pet stick of dynamite. Oh yeah, I have a pet stick of dynamite. Yeah, it always really is good most of the time. He hasn't bitten me yet. He hasn't blown my nuts off yet. See, these are reflexes that should be in people's heads. You know, they should see big, gnarly teeth filled jaws of doom and death. They should associate them with little Jimmy doesn't have a complete face anymore. And they should be able to figure out reflexively that, hey, wait a minute, I don't want little Jimmy not to have a face. Seems logical. Yeah. So, where was I? Oh yeah, I was pretty much just doing this. Explaining that what we call ourselves, this personality thing, is just a bunch of reflexes. Our little inflections, uh, you know, how we talk, how we, the mannerisms. You know, I had a stroke, you know, a decade ago. And, I've never talked the same since, <laughs> you know, I've never, I haven't, you know, I'm not the same man. I'm not the man I used to be. Uh, there's just different things that happen to you. And uh, you're, you rebound. You bounce differently, <laughs> you know, from now on. And uh, it, uh, it's all, you can, you can sort of metaphor it to like scar tissue, lots of different ways to look at what it's done. But it's, a, it's just an addition or a subtraction in the balance. <laughs> you know, it's always a balance. No matter how insane it is, it's still a balance. In, in this, it's the composition. It's the more accurate word. We're compositions, collections, compilations of uh, animation features. And, uh, you know, some of us, you wind us up and we clackety-clack pretty, you know, straight lines and run pretty good and, you know, don't make too much noise. And then others, you wind them up and their springs are too sprung and, you know, it's just it's a bit of wacky little monster that goes flapping about and, you know, gets caught up in all kinds of jibber jabber and gobbledygook in their brain and can't steer right and falls in the mud and spends 10 years digging their way out of some stupid notion uh, that's all we are and it's it's not enough that's I guess the 
the point being, in the end, the conclusion of the theory is that uh, this isn't enough. This isn't good enough. What we're doing is clickety clack uh, for how much it costs. It's way too expensive. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> you know, I'm not, uh, my springs are a little, I'm not quite, what, <laughs> you know, I'm not exactly all cylinders. But I guess it'll have to do, pig. I don't have much choice. This is the pig I am. Wow, that was an interesting place to turn around. <laughs> you could get lost in there forever. Uh, anyway, uh, 10 years digging your way out. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, to location dose. <laughs> yeah, there's location uno. I'm going to location dose today, the longer walk. So, I guess I'll keep talking until we get to the pond. So, I did, I did accidentally uh, Google Earth this location the other day. Oh, it's, it's, it's just this, you know, the internet is interesting. Uh, because I remember last spring they were doing road construction, and so the pictures were from last spring. And, uh, you know, it was just, you know, it's just kind of amazing. You know, you can just type in an address and, wow, oh, there it is. <laughs> you know, I could see this path, I could look right down it. You know, it's just, uh, I don't know how useful it is, I just mean it's, phew, <laughs> yeah, it's something. Anyway, uh, what was I, walking the path, that's another good metaphor. We're, we're just walking paths, uh, you know, where our brain reflexively finds a, a line for us to walk, a, a tightrope, so to speak, of uh, balance. You know, between our self-interest and uh, being enough of a good citizen to be able to look ourselves in the mirror. Uh, you know, a tightrope of, well, this rationalization is okay, that one's out of bounds, can't go over there, that's, you know, clear air, you'll fall. Uh, you know, and our brain is just reflexively narrowing the pathway uh, taking certain things out of <laughs> my range of function. Like I could right now just break into that house and homicidally murder everybody, but my brain has taken that off the, you know, the plan agenda. <laughs> you know, it doesn't even have a, a, it's not even a plan. It's not even on the list. Um, it's taken out a whole bunch of things because it has uh, acquired a, a preference, uh, a sense of attachment and attractiveness to this. So yeah, I didn't, didn't Google Earth the new road here, <laughs> yeah, newly paved. So the old picture was a little uglier. Oh, everything looks quite normal here also. Huh, amazing. You know, the cleanup thing where we're going to, you know, pull out the invasive species and replant the good ones. It's supposed to take place here. <laughs> it doesn't, it's supposed to pick up garbage, but you know, it doesn't look like there is any. It is quite nice here. I mean, it looks quite good to begin its year. Wow, you can really see how, how shallow the water is out there. You know. So that's the great thing about the spring. You know, the water's cooled. No bacterias and all that kind of stuff is cut down. You can really see how clear. So you can see how incredibly shallow the pond has become. I mean, it's only a you know, foot deep there. So it needs to be dredged. Ah, there's a bottle to get. So I got first dibs on that two weeks from now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know right where it is. So I can go right to it and get it. 
be the hero. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Yeah, I'll pre-search the woods for garbage. Now I'll know where all the garbage is and I can collect the most garbage. I'll be the hero. Da -da -da -da. Spectacular garbage, man. This is a great willow tree. Yeah, I've been here since I was a kid and such, and it's sort of been hacked down by the weather. The hurricane sort of beat the crap out of it. But it's really, really cool. Whatever they call that, crookedy willow or something. Bendy, twisty willow. Anyway. So I'm probably not. Ooh, bikes again. Better watch my step. Ooh, mess. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Look, you can go swings in the water. The puddle. Swing set over the puddle. You know, these trees are kind of unsightly. They should fix that. I don't know why the town has it. Chop that down. It's quite an eyesore. <laughs> yeah, that's really important. I don't want no eyesoring. Oh, look how clean things are here, though. Maybe I should bring some garbage down here. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should dump some garbage down here just so people have something to do. Uh, so I guess it's going to be pulling trees out of the ground. So maybe I'll bring my some steel tools and do the job right. Seems like a back injury waiting to happen. Uh, hope I get crank called by that recording about back pain again. Then. Anyway, might need their help. So anyway, it's good to be back in the walk and talk business. The prickers. Yeah, I don't really like going to work, but yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like anything much. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens to you. You figure out it's all just a grind of obligations. Eesh. Yuck. Anyway, so till the next time, have a bit of a smoke maybe. Brought my e-cigarette with me. Yay. So till the next time, such. Ah, all right, back. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, anyway, job number one done. Um, really turning into a lovely day and such. So the funny part was, is after I turned the camera on, I had to cross the stream. <laughs> I fell in it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm showing my age sometimes or something. I don't know. It was probably ice on the, one of these rocks, right? That was what it was. It was probably ro ice. It was, you know, it was ice in the morning. <laughs> so I'll blame it on that, right? But this is a little treacherous. I mean, it's kind of wobbly and stuff. <laughs> but I fell right in the water. and oh, It's kind of... Well, see, they're slimy. That's it, too. See, that rock is really slimy. That's probably where I fell. That slimy little fucker. Anyway. So, I, it's funny that I turned the camera off. Right now, so, you missed the fun. But I guess the good news is the camera's in my pocket, so it didn't get thrown in the water and ruined. So, yeah, there's a bright side, I guess. Or something like that. So, I don't know if I have any philosophy on my brain yet. <laughs> it's kind of a floor waxing kind of day. Um, tree pulling, whatnot. Yeah, it's really windy now, too. So that's the only downside, right? It was nice and there wasn't any wind this morning. And, uh, now it's kind of warm, but it's all this blowy stuff. So maybe I'll wait till later. <laughs> yeah. And uh, maybe I'll have something to say later. Or maybe I won't because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably it. I'm tired. Okay. That is quite nice, though. Yeah. All right. So I'll be back. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah, I really can't think much. I gotta take a walk around the pond. And uh, if I see something interesting, I'll let you in on it.
but probably won't be anything terribly interesting. So, till next time. Not momentarily. Alright, back. Uh, all done for the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, external work. Um, so anyway, um, reflexes. So, yeah, this whole idea that it's a, you know, controlled reflexes, you know, like reflexes built into a, it's like a bunch of little reflexes, it's like a little, it's a bunch of little dominoes that make up the domino, and then that domino falls, and, and there's a bigger set of reflexes. So in some ways you could think of uh, our brain as some, in some ways, a set of fractals, a way of building on, uh, you know, sets of circumstantial triggers, and then those triggers trigger other triggers and other triggers. So it can, you can sort of do it, you know, when you think of it as a complexity moving in a lateral way, uh, or it's a hierarchy, you know, it's built out of a <coughs> simpler, um, you know, the smaller influences add up to a bigger influence. And it's kind of how our subconscious filters things. And then, uh, you know, what we're aware of is the big dominoes of our reflexes. The ideas reflexing, <laughs> you know. And, uh, but that's made up of a bunch of, uh, you know, subtle triggers, subtle um, connections between words and concepts. And that all those little ones do all this uh, reacting before we do our reacting. So that's sort of an important concept that's come up. Is um, yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing here. Uh, you know, I usually don't have to think, but I do today. Um, you know that the. What was I going to talk about? <laughs> Just, yeah, something important. Uh, no, I lost it. For we. Um, yeah, you know, that we're just machines. You know, that we're just processors. And, uh, but there is this difference, this subtle but substantial difference um, of our brains doing this conscious this manifestation of a consciousness and uh, oh, leaves <laughs> um, yeah wind and leaves probably not a great combination so maybe I'll spare you and uh, pick this up when I'm not tired <laughs> yeah and I'm not walking in leaves yeah maybe <sighs> anyway. yeah they're just drying out so I'm gonna have some vitality still from last year. <sighs> Covered with snow all winter. Anyway, so I'll be back, yes. Yeah, I'm really just tired. <laughs> yeah. There's my piece of timber. I was wondering where I had a piece of timber and I was wondering where it went. There it is over there. I wonder who put it over there. <sighs> well, it's good to know. I'll have to go get that. Okay, remind me later. <sighs> Much later. Okay, until next time.